Hi there, it's Enchanted. Thank you so much for tuning in. So in today's video, we are going to be picking cards to see what is happening for you in the month of July um, in regards to your love life, okay? So we're going to go ahead and pick some cards to see who is coming, what their traits might be, their zodiac signs, their personality is like, you know, um, just how are things going to play out okay so here we have four crystals in front of you we have crystal one which is this green jasper crystal two which is the clear quartz we have crystal three which is the rose quartz and we have crystal four which is the amethyst so go ahead and take a second to meditate upon the piles and pick a crystal that you are the most energetically drawn to okay you can pick based on um the angel numbers and the timestamps, the actual crystals, um, it's really up to you. So yeah, just go ahead and take a second to meditate upon that and do that. I also do want to let you know that this is just a general reading for the collective. Okay, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. You always have free will in your reality. I also do want to let you know that I offer in-depth video readings. So if you are interested in getting personal questions answered, be sure to check out the description box below where you can sign up for a video reading. So yeah, um, I will leave you to pick a pile and we'll see you in your respective reading. Hi pal one, welcome to your reading. So you all picked the green jasper. Oh my gosh, you could totally see my reflection of that. But anyways, yeah, you guys all picked the green jasper. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and pick some cards to see who is coming towards you and what things will be like. So I'm gonna um, pick from the Dilema Tarot deck. Okay, wow, this is amazing. Okay, so um, I saw this in the bottom of the deck and I just had to like, you know, put this here. We got the Ace of Cups. I definitely feel like um, your love life is going to be flourishing in the month of July, okay? Um, I definitely feel like you are either going to be entering or, you know, rekindling a very emotionally fulfilling relationship, okay? So I'm going to try to find messages for everyone here. Um, if you are already in a relationship, uh, I definitely feel like things are going to go to the next level, at least emotionally. Um, if, let's say, you're in the talking stage or something, I also feel like you're going to be entering a new phase of love, like, you know, maybe make things official and things like that. Um, I feel like the person that you are with or will be with is going to be a lot more open and honest and vulnerable about their feelings for you okay so that's looking really great i'm also seeing water sign energy cancer pisces scorpio maybe you could be dealing with the water sign sun moon rising venus or seventh house which is a house of love and relationships or you could be a water sign yourself um or have that in your big three or seventh house um and if you are single um i'm definitely seeing that you are going to be getting an offer of love okay there is definitely someone that is going to be coming towards you and this is someone that you are you know um this is someone with whom you're going to have an emotionally fulfilling connection with. It's no offense, but it's not one of those people that like, you know, always hit you up on Instagram and like, you know, it's sort of like ego boosting or whatever, whenever they hit you up, but you're not actually romantically interested in them. You're not even, you know, like physically attracted to them. It's not like that. I definitely feel like this is someone that you are going to be emotionally and physically attracted to. Okay. So just expect emotional fulfillment. That's like the biggest, um, you know, underlying message that I am seeing here. So let's go ahead and pick a couple more cards. Yeah. So we also got the 10 of swords, which is very interesting. Okay. So with the 10 of swords, I feel like you guys have been worried about being alone. You've been worried about being single. I even feel like, you know, it's something like you just feel lonely at the moment. Okay. And maybe this won't resonate with all of you but yeah i guess for those of you guys that are single or you know you just haven't been with anyone in a while um this is you know it's sort of your love life kind of seems to be burdening you a little bit like you kind of have just lost hope and you know maybe there's even like this external pressure on some of you guys to be in a relationship or get married that won't resonate with all of you but like some of you guys could be at that age but um i just feel like this is more of an emotional thing and more of an internal thing and spirit wants you to know to not worry about that you will be finding someone with whom you're going to have a very emotionally fulfilling relationship with like this is going to be really really good for you okay um i feel like this person is also going to be very kind caring compassionate you know with all this water energy that we have going on here um so yeah don't worry yourself don't burden yourself too much um for those of you guys that are already in a relationship or like you've already kind of been seeing someone or talking to someone i'm seeing that you know uh maybe you've been feeling kind of like burdened or like i don't know you guys have just been feeling a little bit like i'm trying to think of the right word but you know this does have to do with stress pressure burden but like i'm seeing that like you could have been feeling some kind of like sadness or loneliness or like uh what do you call 
like maybe things aren't happening the way that you want them to be or maybe um you kind of had expectations and you feel like you've been let down that's the best way i can say it like so let's say you've been seeing someone for a while you know it could be kind of like irking you that they haven't really like you know taken things to the next level in the way that like you know you wanted it to be or that things aren't moving fast enough or like you know there's some sense of unsatisfaction or like desire or expectation or wanting more but i feel like you know with this ace of cups right in front of this i feel like that's you know a sign from spirit and they're basically trying to tell you that you don't have to worry about your love life. You definitely will be seeing big changes, okay? You will be seeing major changes happening. Um, just give it some time. I feel like things are flowing um, the way that they're supposed to be. Things are working out for you. I'm definitely seeing like, you know, if you have been feeling some sense of stagnancy or you feel like you've been kind of like waiting for a while, this patience is going to pay off, okay? Because I feel like, you know, um this person that either you're already with or will be meeting you know they kind of just needed some time to like you know gather their emotions i'm even feeling maybe this ten of swords could be their energy you know they could have been stressed out due to some like sort of emotional you know some sort of emotions that they've been feeling from the past maybe like emotional baggage or something and they needed some time to sort it out so that they could commit to you fully and wholeheartedly okay this is not the kind of person oh wow that's really loud okay. oh my gosh there's like can't tell what that is okay hopefully that wasn't like distracting but um yeah my uh what i was saying is that like you know uh your person cares this person that you're either going to meet or are already with like i mean they care about you so much to the point where they want to make sure they're fully healed before they can come forward okay like i feel like maybe in the past this person has been through like you know relationships where they've been with people that you know emotionally were not in the right place to be dating and you know that sort of could have caused them a lot of like you know stress and like you know how the story goes like when you're with someone that isn't exactly ready to be in a relationship but they still want you anyways i mean sometimes it doesn't really end up in the best way possible you know there's like conflict of like interest or not interest but like um you know they're just not able to commit to you fully emotionally okay but i don't see that that's going to be the case here i feel like your person wants to commit to you emotionally um mentally spiritually holistically okay this person really does care about you so yeah um, okay, let's go ahead and pick some more cards. We also got the High Priestess. Yes, I'm getting Pisces Cancer energy. Yeah, I'm just getting a lot of water energy coming in here. But I feel like you and this person are going to have, like, a really great, you know, telepathic, even, like, psychic connection. I feel like you and this person are really just going to understand one another. Like, I feel like this person might even be able to, like, read your mind. Like, you know, you're not going to have to, like, you know, do a lot of explaining or a lot of, like, you know, clarifying. Like, things are just going to happen the right um, way, like, you know. Um, it's going to happen like really naturally. Things are going to unfold really naturally. So if that hasn't been the case, you know, which I'm seeing for some of you, you know, that could be the deal here. Um, I'm definitely seeing that's going to change. Okay. Like people are finally, you know, this person that either you're going to meet or are already with, like you and this person are definitely going to be um, connecting in on a deeper level again like i do see you entering a new phase in love whether that be like taking things to the next level or even just you know um ha having like a you know deeper conversation about your feelings okay so yeah um I, I just see that you know things are going to unfold in the best way possible and all your patience all your manifestations if that's something that you've been doing will have paid off yeah um wow that is so crazy we got a lot of water here we got water and air so we got pisces cancer scorpio aquarius Libra, gemini here um you could be meeting someone of those signs but with this queen of cups i mean this person is really going to feel for you okay i mean the queen of cups is someone who's probably admired by many but has only given her heart to a few so I'm saying maybe a person could have like admirers here and there but like I mean the only person that they really want to be with is you okay like you're I feel like this person you know emotionally they haven't like really like fell for too many people in the past I feel like this person is kind of careful with their emotions but I feel like they're gonna let their guard down with you because you and them are gonna have this like amazing spiritual like telepathic connection where you're just going to you know connect in the best way possible and I and for those of you guys that are already with this person again you are going to be like you know um just really learning more about one another getting to know each other on a deeper level okay um and i'm even seeing like look at how both these figures are holding something in their hand there's definitely an offer coming your way okay um i feel like your person's really going to do a lot to like appeal to you um you know 
make sure that like you and them have like the best connection possible like you know like they're being the best partner possible which is really great so yeah okay i'm gonna go ahead and pick a couple of cards from the romance angels deck see what else is going on yeah so we got separation okay so i know it says time apart from your partner is on the horizon but i i'm actually seeing this as more of a, if you've been in separation with someone that person is going to come back okay the person on your mind um i feel like if you've been manifesting them yes that same person that you feel so strongly for are going to going to be coming back in fact i'm seeing a couple of people here i'm seeing like maybe even a couple of water signs in the mix cancer pisces scorpio maybe a queer sleeper gemini i'm definitely seeing like at least two people coming back okay so i feel like you know you are going to maybe even have to make a choice between these two people like look at how they're in like contemplative mode so yeah do expect that to happen okay um we got chemistry yeah so again this has to do with you know um like the ace of cups like emotional fulfillment you and this person are just gonna have like electric chemistry you guys are really gonna connect in the best way possible i mean like you know it's just gonna feel so natural and like this is gonna be really amazing for you uh i am definitely seeing that like you know you're gonna let your guard down but i would say that like you know um maybe for a lot of you guys in the past you have let your guard down when it came to connections like this but like um you know i'm seeing that like it, it's safe to love this person because this person really is going to be there for you they're really going to have your best interests at heart so yeah okay i'm gonna go ahead and pick a couple more cards to see what signs this person could be um okay now we got eighth house intimacy yeah so i'm, de I'm getting scorpio energy here i'm even seeing maybe a lot of you guys like this could start off as being kind of like a hookup or like you know something like more intimate and sexual like you guys definitely are going to be connecting in that way okay but there are going to be deeper feelings for sure we also got sagittarius the voyager yeah i definitely see a lot of exploration travel adventure you know um this person's gonna like I feel like they're just going to sweep you off their feet. You guys are going to have a lot of fun times together. Like, you know, they're going to, like, take you out. They're going to, like, you know, um, just wine and dine you. Like, I feel like you guys are going to go on a lot of, like, spontaneous trips. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing Sagittarius energy. We also got Mercury, communication. Yeah, I feel like this person is going to be really communicative. They're going to be texting you all the time. You know, you're not going to have to worry about not hearing from them or anything like that. Again, that's what I meant when, you know, I said everything's going to unfold naturally. Like, it's going to feel good. It's not going to feel like, you know, you're lacking anything or this person isn't being as like you know communicative and open i'm also seeing virgo gemini energy so yeah that is what we got for you pal one i really hope that this reading helped i hope that this reading resonated you know take what resonates and leave what doesn't you always have to own your reality and i also do want to let you know that i offer in-depth video readings so if you do want personal questions answered be sure to check out the description box below where you can sign up for a video reading so yeah i found the reading right here thank you so much love and light Hi there, Pal2. Welcome to your reading. So you all pick this beautiful, clear crystal quartz. So we are going to be picking cards to see what is happening for you in the month of July, okay? So sorry about the shaking. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick some cards from the Delima Tarot deck, see who's coming towards you, what their signs are. Uh, you know, is this someone that you already, like, for, I'm going to be finding messages for everyone. You know, this is for singles, people that are already in a relationship, um, people that, you know, maybe are talking to someone. So yeah. Let's go ahead and see what we get. Wow, this card came flying out. Okay, so we got the Five of Swords. Very interesting way to start off the reading. Um, we also got Strength, okay? So I feel like um, for some of you guys watching this, um, and again, I'm going to try to find messages for everyone, but I am seeing that some of you guys watching this are in no contact with someone that you still have feelings for, and the answer is yes, they will come back. Yes, there is going to be reconciliation, okay? I feel like you and this person could have had like a falling out. Maybe words were said, maybe things were said that, you know, kind of like still weigh on both your, you know, minds, but I feel like your person is going to have the strength to reach out, okay? Strength actually has to do with like the fifth house of love, romance, joy, passion. So yes, they still have that spark for you. And yes, they will still try to, like they're going to try to reconcile, okay? So I definitely do see something happening in the month of July, okay? Like this, this is even a Leo card. So maybe it could be happening during like the third week of July, you know, when Leo season starts, which I believe is July 23rd. Yeah, so um yeah um i'm getting in terms of the signs i am getting air signs uh especially like gemini i'm also getting leo um okay and okay let's try to find messages for those of you guys that are already with someone you know this also i feel like whatever i said resonates with you as well like if you i feel like for some of you that picked this maybe you and your person could have been at sorts maybe there was some sort of like argument that happened but i see that the person that you're asking about i mean like they still like you they still care about you and i definitely feel like they're going to want to reconcile and make up with you okay and for those of you guys that like you know maybe you don't have anyone in your mind maybe there's like no one that like you know you particularly particularly want to be with or you know 
uh, or like you're not really seeing someone at the moment, I am seeing that you are going to be meeting someone with whom you may be having like, uh, okay, since, since this person is a new energy, okay, I do see for some of you guys, you are going to be meeting a new energy. I feel like they could have a sharp talk, okay? They could be very quick-witted, okay? Every single card has, like, a positive and negative side to it. People just see, like, the negative side of Five of Swords, but Five of Swords also has, you know, de deals with someone who has, like, you know, sharp tongue, quick wit. That's why I'm seeing, like, you know, uh, an air sign could be coming in for you or maybe someone who has, like, air in their big three. Yeah, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, I even feel like maybe you guys will have like debates with one another. Like you guys will um, have like really, like honestly, even like great conversations, but be careful that like, you know, this doesn't turn into something like, you know, too personal. Like I feel like this person is gonna like debating with you. They're gonna like kind of like, maybe even like challenging your wit, your mentality, like, you know, your intelligence, see if like you can, you know, keep up with them when it comes to like having these sort of like intellectual debates or something like that. Um, and I feel like that could even, you know, result into something like passionate. Like, you know how you have like an argument or like, you know, things get like really heated in a debate and you have like sort of like passionate sense or whatever after that like you know I'm, I'm definitely seeing that could be a thing you know i feel like this person is definitely going to be attracted to your mind um your intellect you know the way you think the way the way you view things but i am seeing like be careful not to like let this turn into like you know let, let this completely like you know take over the relationship okay like you guys should be able to agree to disagree unless it's something big that you can't like you know agree on like let's say this person's politics is different than you and that's sort of a deal breaker then obviously you know avoid this person but like don't let like arguments like little silly petty things get in the way of like you know this beautiful connection that you're gonna have like I'm, I'm just seeing like that's a warning sign okay so at times you may have to compromise at times they may have to compromise but i, I am definitely seeing there could you know, that could be a potential cause of conflict. But I feel like for the most part, it's going to be fun. It's going to be amicable. I feel like this person's really going to make you think. They're really going to, like, you know, you're going to grow a lot in this relationship in a lot of different ways, especially intellectually and mentally. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and pick some more cards. Wow, we got the magician. Okay, so yeah, again, I'm gonna try to find messages for everyone. So I do feel like if you have been manifesting a relationship, this is going to be your month, pal, too. Okay, you are going to be meeting that perfect person, you know, that person, you know, like your ideal person who has like all the traits that you want in a you know guy, girl, or whoever. Um, I'm also seeing that if you've been manifesting someone from the past, I do see reconciliation is in the books. And for those of you guys that are already with someone, I definitely feel like you might um end up like taking things to the next level i feel like maybe for a lot of you guys you've been manifesting like again like something more deeper like i'm seeing for some of you guys it could even be like you know marriage or like yes yeah, something more committed so i do see like whatever your manifestations your love manifestations are it's going to be happening okay um i also see with this magician i'm getting virgo gemini energy this has to do with mercury i feel like this person um is going to be really communicative okay and this applies to like everyone in every situation like whether you're with someone or whether you know um you are like single like i feel like this person is going to like be really good at communicating with you i feel like this person is going to be like you know you know this person i'm going to be texting like a good amount maybe even like all the time um you know we're getting out of mercury retrograde um when i'm filming this this is the last of the mercury retrograde and mercury retrograde you know mercury has to do with communication and usually um during these retrogrades communication can kind of be like warped like you're all over the place it's not you know the best time for communication so it's like maybe you sort of had a falling out with someone which i am seeing with this five of swords i feel like this person is going to be coming back to your life or for those of you guys that are with someone maybe if you have like an argument again you're going to be reconciling you're really going to be communicating better okay like i feel like you and this person are really again like you're gonna maybe not again i don't think i said this but you're really gonna um get to know each other on a deeper level maybe even get to know each other when it, you know all over again but i am seeing like this is going to be a really great month for you in terms of communication in general like you and this person are going to be communicating on a deeper level or communicating more um and it's going to be like you know it, it's a good thing like i just feel like you know this person that either you're already with or that you're going to be with like you you're gonna have everything that's you know important to make this relationship work like the magician has every single aspect you know earth water air fire so this connection really does have everything that it needs to work you know so yeah um i just feel like you guys there might be some like rough patches and things like that but it's nothing that you won't be able to get over okay and again in terms of the signs i am seeing leo virgo gemini aquarius libra yeah we also got the ten of pentacles wow okay so for some of you guys the first message that i got is if you're single and like you know maybe yeah there's no one that you really want or anything like i feel like 
your manifestations regarding love in general are going to be coming true. I feel like maybe for a lot of you guys, you have been in kind of like, you know, maybe not the best relationships where things weren't really fair to you. Maybe you were the one putting in a lot more time, energy, effort. I feel like things are finally going to be balanced because this person is going to give a lot. I'm definitely seeing like generosity, like wealth. Maybe this person could even like, you know, be rich. Like maybe they could be financially well off or their parents or something like have a boat or something like that, you know? Um, <laughs> there's so many like funny TikTok memes on that. Like, oh, does anyone got a boat this summer? You know, people are trying to get into relationships some people that have that but yeah um financially i feel like you could be meeting someone that is you know doing pretty well maybe in the past you've dealt with people that weren't really that financially stable and maybe they had to like retreat to like focus on their finances more or like you know but i feel like this person's going to be pretty like they're going to be feeling pretty good about their career they may even be like pretty ahead in their career um I, I definitely feel like they're going to spoil you a lot, okay? Like, I feel like this is a message for everyone. This person is really going to be spoiling you. Expect, like, gifts coming your way. Maybe someone's love language could be gift giving. But I definitely see fairness, equality, and balance, okay? Again, Ten of Pentacles is all about giving, sharing the wealth, you know, generosity. So I feel like this person's like, going to be generous with their feelings, generous with, like, you know, communication. Like, this is just going to feel really fair and balanced. I'm also getting Earth energy coming in here, especially, like, Capricorn. Yeah, but also Taurus and Virgo. So, yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and pick some cards from the numinous deck just to see what other signs we have here maybe like uh get more messages about the essence of this relationship Ooh, we got 10th house reputation yeah so this totally corresponds with um this 10 of pentacles here maybe 10 could be an angel number maybe you could be seeing 10s a lot um when you either meet this person or when everything i said will be happening again i'm trying to find messages for everyone here so i feel like you know maybe if you're already dating someone i feel like maybe this person could be getting like a new job and you guys are going to like be celebrating a lot and be taking a vacation i'm definitely seeing something to do with traveling and adventure and like financial abundance coming in okay but um i guess like on a more like you know like emotional level i feel like this person's gonna be, again be generous with their feelings for you but i'm also seeing like with this 10th house you know they really care about how you view them i feel like you know they're gonna do a lot to kind of like make sure that you know they're being a good partner to you so i definitely see that element of fairness coming in wow we also got pisces yeah so you could either be meeting a pisces or dealing with the pisces or have someone that has that in their sun moon rising venus but um this has to do with like you know compassionate empathetic i feel like you know this person and you are going to form a really great bond and you know they're going to be really empathetic too i feel like maybe in the beginning like let's say you're meeting someone new they might not like you know really understand you that much but like i feel like the more they get to know you the more like you know i just feel like you, you're going to be developing a deeper bond the more you get to know each other okay so um, do expect that happening. Um, I even feel like you guys, uh, this might be like a really telepathic spiritual connection. Maybe you could even be seeing like dreams about this person or like you'll be dreaming about this person when you meet them. And for those of you guys that like, you know, maybe you're thinking about someone like, I do see someone from the past coming in, okay? And I feel like this person is going to be reaching out to you because they've been seeing dreams about you. And I feel like um, a lot of you guys will be reconciling and coming back better and stronger than ever. And I'm also seeing that for a lot of you guys that, you know, are in um, a relationship, I feel like you are going to be, again, strengthening your bond, strengthening your connection with one another. So yeah, that is what we got for you, pal, too. I really hope that this reading helped. I hope that this reading resonated. You know, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. You always have free will in your reality. And yeah, I shall end the reading right here. Thank you so much. Love and light. Hi, pal three. Welcome to your reading. So you all picked this rose court. So we're going to go ahead and pick some cards to see what is happening for you in the month of July. Who is coming forward who will you meet if you're already with someone right now you know where are things going with that basically just messages about your love life in general so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and shuffle some cards from the thelema tarot deck wow okay so we got the ten of cups we got the five of wands in reverse let's go ahead and pick a couple more cards um, we got the Ten of Wands. Okay, I'm getting a lot of water and fire energy here. So water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we got the Six of Cups. Okay, so, okay. I'm going to be... I'm going to try to find messages for everyone. Like, you know, people that are single, people that are already with someone, um, you know, or some... For those of you guys that are, like, talking to someone, we want to see where things go. So, go. So, okay, um, already off the bat, I definitely do see a past fling is going to be hitting you up, okay? Whether or not you're single or taken, I mean, unless you're like, you know, taken and you've been broadcasting that you're taken, then I'm sure 
you know, maybe this won't apply to you because, you know, I feel like people are respectful of your relationship. But for those of you guys that like, you know, maybe you're seeing someone or like you're completely single, I definitely do see a past person is going to be hitting you up. The Six of Cups has to do with nostalgia, has to do with like, you know, reminiscing about the past, the memories that you made. Yeah. And we also got the Ten of Wands. So I feel like this person has kind of been um, at odds. Like, you know, they were under a lot of stress, pressure, burden at the time you were together. So I, okay, again, I'm going to find messages for everyone here. So bear with me here. I feel like some of you guys watching this, you are in no contact with someone who you still kind of have a thing for, but at the same time, I am seeing you're kind of ready to move on. But um, I do feel like you still have an emotional attachment to this person and they do as well with this 10 of cups. I feel like that energy definitely goes both ways. And they were feeling a little bit burdened about like, you know, reaching out. They were under a lot of stress and pressure. Um, maybe even while you guys were together, maybe that's the reason and you know you even had to break up like maybe there's a lot going on in their you know um career life finances material life you know something that they had to deal with but i do see that it's finally going to be taking off okay like with this five of wands in reverse you know five of wands upright upright kind of has to do with like conflict strife discord and things things like that like you do see how let me just show you for a second here um in this card it's like the wands are still very much on the ground and there's one that's trying to take off but it just hasn't but you know if you look at it this way it's like you know they're kind of all you know it's like the opposite of that right so things are finally going to be taking off i'm definitely seeing that you're going to be seeing a lot of action in the month of july in regards to your love life i'm seeing maybe june for some of you guys you know uh, I feel like it's 50 50 you know this mercury rec retrograde and cancer and Venus you could have had people from the past hit you up but I feel like if someone did hit you up in this month they're going to be like taking this relationship further or like they're going to be doing more if that makes sense like they're going to want more with you I definitely do see that there is someone actually maybe even a couple of people that you know like flings or even people that you actually dated from the past that are going to be hitting you up so keep an eye out for that so yeah um, okay, so for those of you guys that, you know, are kind of just wondering about, like, you know, what else is going to happen, I definitely do see you are going to be feeling very fulfilled in the month of July. I'm even seeing something to do with, like, marriage and family. I feel like maybe for some of you guys, you could be getting a little proposal, okay? Like, you could be getting, um, maybe if you're seeing someone, if you've been seeing someone for a while, um, maybe this person has been thinking about surprising you, like, not to, like, ruin it or anything. And maybe, like, if they've been acting a little bit distant or something, you know, this Ten of Wands, they could have been, like, you know, um, kind of if they've been acting finicky or something like that they could have been like you know under a lot of pressure to buy you the right right ring plan the right proposal okay i'm definitely seeing um that come in for some of you guys obviously that won't resonate with everyone but i definitely do feel like you are going to be in a relationship for sure like pretty much everyone watching this you are going to be in some sort of like love connection okay for some of you guys i am seeing for a lot of you guys it could be like a full-on relationship that's what this ten of cups represents whatever it is you are going to be feeling very emotionally satisfied in the month of july okay and again i see a lot of like water sign energy coming in here so cancer pisces scorpio maybe you could be meeting someone that's a water sign or reconnecting with someone that was a water sign i definitely do see a water sign from your past coming back um i'm also seeing um, a fire sign you know fire sign or water sign from the past coming back or you even meeting a new fire sign or water Water sign or just someone who has that in their big three or seventh house which is the house of love and relationships yeah um i'm also seeing that um you know for a lot of you guys like let's say you're already with someone i feel like you guys are going to like get to know each other a lot more i even feel like you're going to be breaking boundaries breaking breaking barriers you know and really understanding one another on a deeper level i'm just seeing like this is really the month where either you're going to be meeting someone new or like if you're with someone you're I feel like you're going to talk to them about your childhood or there's something about your childhood that's going to come up or like, you know, something from the past. Like maybe even um, it doesn't necessarily have to be your childhood, but like, let's say for those of you guys that are already seeing someone, maybe like, you know, you guys are going to go back to like the old times that you had, like you're going to rekindle some like, you know, um, something that happened in your relationship. Like maybe you'll pass by the, this is just an example, but by the first place you ever went on a date or like, I just see something about old memories popping up, nostalgia. And yeah, for those of you guys that are completely single that, you know, maybe you don't really want anyone from your past, you're ready to like completely move on. I definitely do see that you are going to be meeting someone that's going to like remind you of all like, um, I guess like remind you of the good aspects of your past. Okay. Like maybe you'll be meeting someone that with whom you feel very familiar with, okay? Like, I just feel like you and this person, like, when you meet this person, it's gonna feel like a soul connection. The Six of, oops, sorry about that. The Six of Cups is a soulmate card. And oh my gosh, I'm about to sneeze, you guys. Like, oh my gosh. Okay, oh, let's stop. Okay, but um, 
usually sneezes represent like i guess in my culture whatever it's just a superstition like that if you sneeze or you're about to sneeze someone is thinking about you okay so yeah um but i'm just seeing that you're gonna be meeting someone with whom think you're gonna feel like it's really it's just gonna feel like a natural connection you're gonna feel a sense of familiarity and i feel like you guys are gonna attract to one another really quickly like you guys are really gonna like um i guess even like do things pretty fast with all this fire energy that's going on here especially with the five of wands reverse like things are really gonna be taking off i feel like you're gonna be moving pretty fast but it's gonna feel pretty good but um yeah i'm just seeing even with this ten of wands maybe some of you guys watching this could be kind of feeling at odds with your love life like maybe you feel like it's kind of stagnant but i definitely do see that things are finally moving Okay. The only thing that you have to do is like trust that it will work out, have faith that it will work out. Don't take too much like stress or pressure, um, you know, regarding your love life. Like things are happening, um, all, like actually even faster than you know it. Like behind the scenes, I'm just seeing that um, things have, you know, if you've been manifesting, if you've been doing self work, self healing, things like that, um, it has been paying off pile three. Okay, like the universe has heard your desires and they're going to put someone absolutely great in your life. And you know, it's just going to feel really. Um, natural and solid and you know like you're really gonna get to understand one another yeah i do feel like maybe this person could be someone that like you know maybe they're kind of hard on themselves i do see like maybe this could be a message for all of you guys like maybe the partner that you're with or like someone that you're gonna be meeting um i feel like this person is hard on themselves okay like they want to be the best version of themselves for you i definitely feel like maybe this person could be a little bit of a people pleaser or they want to make sure that like you know um you and them like you know they feel like they're good enough for you so um definitely do expect a lot of effort being made okay like this person is going to make a lot of effort towards you text you all the time like let you know that you know they're really into you and things like that so yeah that is also something that i am seeing okay i'm going to go ahead and pick some cards from the romance angels deck just to see what else is going on i'm so sorry for the shaking uh I've got, I've got to get a better setup. Wow, we got very soon, okay? Clearly decide what you want, so it comes down. What is it that you want? You know, for some of you guys, I'm seeing you want marriage. You want things to, like, you know, you want to be in a long-term committed relationship. So um, I'm definitely seeing if that's something that you want. It is going to be happening very, very soon. Oh, my gosh, we got express your love. Yeah, Um, don't be afraid to, like, you know, be open with this person, be vulnerable with this person. I feel like this person is going to be receptive to your emotions. I feel like your person's even going to like it if you show them that you really like them and care about them. And I'm even seeing, like, this is the kind of person Person who's going to be expressing their love to you as well okay in whatever way shape or form um maybe this person will be like open verbal maybe i can see like words of, oh my gosh words of affirmation could definitely be like someone's love language here but i feel like you're gonna like feel loved in this connection okay or like if you're if you're already with someone i feel like this person is gonna make some more you know effort towards you show that they really appreciate you but i definitely feel like you know since july does is you know the month of like you know cancer season um cancers are very emotional they're all about like you know um, expressing their love and things like that um and leo's also about like you know kind of showing their love through like you know grand things like i i just feel like basically they're, they're really going to be um expressing their love to you in a variety of ways yeah i'm really again i'm seeing a lot of watery and fire energy coming so yeah okay i'm gonna go ahead and pick some cards from the numinous deck just to see maybe what other signs we get what other messages we get about your love life in july we got transformation oh my gosh yeah we also got renewal so i definitely feel like for those of you guys that are no contact maybe you're still into someone i definitely feel like that person from the past is going to be coming back um for those of you guys that are already in a relationship i feel like you know your relationship is def is going to go through a transformation for the better like you guys again are going to get to know each other on a deeper level uh, maybe you're going to enter a new phase in love with one another maybe they're going to make things official um i'm also seeing that if you're completely single and you're waiting for someone i feel like your love life is going to go through a complete transformation if you've been feeling like these past few weeks or months have been kind of dry for you you haven't really been meeting anyone that like you know you vibe with or maybe like you know you thought you lied with them but then they just ended up kind of like not really reciprocating or you know like things like that um i definitely do see that there's going to be a transformation in your love life for the better so yeah um we also got sun being yeah we got leo energy here i'm also getting scorpio energy here from the transformation but yeah do you expect better and brighter days for your love life okay like this totally makes sense because you know july like i mentioned like the third week leo season starts i feel like by then you should definitely like have met someone or maybe you'll be meeting someone but like by the end of july beginning of august um maybe even just like until like leo season ends like which is like you know the third week of august i i feel like you will be getting either getting into a relationship or starting something that you know is going to like be a very long-term connection with this kind of cup so yeah um again better and brighter days ahead um the summer is going to be great for you so yeah that is what we got for you pal three thank you so much for watching um tuning in 
I do want to let you know that if this pile didn't resonate, don't worry too much. You can go ahead and pick another pile. I also want to let you know that I offer in-depth video readings. So if you are interested in getting personal questions answered, be sure to check out the description box below where you can sign up for a video reading. And yeah, I shall end the meeting right here. Thank you so much. Love and light. Hi, Pile 4. Welcome to your reading. So you all picked the Amethyst. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and pick some cards to see what is going on in your love life in the month of July. Will you, who will you be meeting? What signs, you know, are they, um, what is their relationship going to be like? Or if you're already with someone, um, we're going to go ahead and see where that relationship goes, things like that. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pick some cards from the Thelema Tarot deck. Okay, so... Wow, okay, we got the Ace of Pentacles. We got the Knight of Pentacles, a lot of Earth energy coming in here. We got the Seven of Swords in reverse, that's a really good thing. Let's go ahead and pick one more card. And we got the Ace of Cups. Wow, this is really positive, Pile 4. Okay, so let's go over this. Yeah, so I'm seeing a lot of Earth energy come in. Coming in, either you could be an earth sign or you could be meeting someone that's an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, they could have that in their sun, moon, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or seventh house. Um, I'm also seeing air signs and water signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, especially Gemini, um, Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, so yeah. Um, with the Ace of Pentacles, I'm seeing that there is someone that... It, Okay, I'm going to try to find messages for everyone, like, you know, um, in every situation. I feel like there's three, like, uh, there's some of you watching this that are single that, you know, want to know what's going to be happening. Some of you guys could be in, like, no contact. Maybe you're wondering about, like, a past person or, you know, kind of just seeing what, what's happening in general, okay? Maybe he'll be meeting anyone new. And then um, there's also... Um, some of you guys that are already in a relationship. So yeah, I'm gonna try to find messages for everyone. So I feel like for those of you guys that are completely single, let's start off with you guys. Um, someone is going to be coming towards you in the month of July, okay? And I feel like this person is someone that you have been waiting for your entire life. Oh my gosh, pile four. I really think that this could be like the marriage pile. Um, I feel like we did get another pile that indicated that, you know, um, I feel like it was pile three. So maybe you can check that out. That indicated that, you know, you will be like in something like a lot more serious and committed um so I, i'm definitely seeing that you know it is going to happen for you pile four i feel like you're finally it's going to feel like you know with all this pentacles energy this is slow moving energy but i'm seeing that this actually has to do with the fact that you are really patient and now that patience is paying off and i'm seeing someone um it is someone that's going to be really serious about you is coming like forward okay like this person is like a serial monogamist i feel like this person loves being in relationships you know i don't think they can do like the whole casual dating so if you've sort of been wanting to get out of that scene like i, I really feel like you're going to be in a relationship maybe they might take things slow in the beginning i am sort of seeing that with the ace of pentacles but that's only because they care about really building a strong foundation in this connection with you okay and i feel like this person is going to be really great because we got the seven of swords in reverse seven of swords upright sort of has to do with like betrayal lying cheating and things like that so i feel like this person is going to be really genuine i feel like this person is going to be like um uh very like they're going to be they're going to have a lot of integrity and i feel like they're going to be really honest with you and with their feelings okay and like with this ace of cups i definitely feel like you are going to be emotionally fulfilled okay this is going to be a very very fulfilling connection in every single way like yes the love is going to be there the emotions are going to be there but the willingness to work on things will be there the element of practicality will is also going to be there the you know they're going to be really honest with you as well so yeah that's a really good sign for you singles yeah i'm definitely seeing like earthy energy coming in maybe with water sign cancer pisces scorpio I I'm getting a little bit of air, like maybe Gemini. Um, okay, so let's talk about uh, th those of you guys that are already in the relationship. So if you've already been seeing someone, I definitely feel like they're going to be taking things to the next level. Maybe some of you guys watching this, you know, you could be watching this because you felt like you feel like things are going kind of slow or like you really, you know, want them to commit to you um, or like you've kind of been having expectations. Okay, like I feel like maybe now you're at the point where you're kind of wondering like, okay, um, are they going to commit to me? Or maybe you want more time, effort, attention from them. I definitely feel like you are going to be getting that okay so um i feel like whatever it is that you've been desiring like it is going to be coming towards you i'm even seeing that you guys could be entering a new phase in love like i feel like maybe either this could mean this person um I, I am seeing an actual offering so i do feel like this person is going to make you an offer and since we got the ace of cups if you know a love offer um i feel like with the seven of swords reverse you know they're i feel like this person 
is very honest okay like they are very authentic they want to make sure they do things right like i'm seeing a lot of like integrity here okay and like, um having a strong foundation for things so um i definitely do see them making an offer um to you i feel like this person's even going to be more vocal about their feelings for you with the ace of cups yeah but i definitely feel like you are going to be connecting in a way that maybe you haven't before like you're really going to be understanding one another on a deep level you know um forming an even stronger like even deeper like emotional bond with one another okay and for those of you guys like i am seeing you know some of you guys watching this uh, there could be okay i'm seeing that you will be meeting someone new okay with this ace of cups that has to do like you know we got two aces actually um so you know, ace, aces have to do with new beginnings. So I do feel like you're going to be meeting someone new, but I also do feel like someone from the past could be coming back. Maybe since we did get the seven of swords, maybe this is someone with whom you sort of have like a falling out with because you were kind of mad that they like betrayed you or like, you know, did something that didn't serve this, the connection. But I feel like they're, you know, remediating that like they're trying to become like better more honest people and i definitely feel like this person is finally going to come towards you and like offer you something more offer you something solid um you know just like again they want to build a strong foundation with you so I, I see like um one one past person and like two new people coming in for you okay so and but honestly the ace could also mean like a rekindling of something renewal so yeah I'm, I'm seeing like maybe two to three people like at least two people someone from the past but you definitely will be meeting someone new maybe you'll even have to choose between them okay like you want a new beginning with the both of them um or like no what did i say i mean I feel like someone from the past wants to be beginning with you and there's someone else who also wants to be beginning with you this is someone that you haven't really met but you will be meeting them so yeah okay i'm gonna go ahead and pick some cards from the romance oracle deck just to see what other messages we have here yeah we got getting to know each other yeah this totally clarifies everything that i said about you guys getting to know each other on a deeper level you know i feel like you're going to be strengthening your bond like connecting um, together more like emotionally yeah we also got you deserve love you are lovable yeah you are very loved i feel like there's actually a lot of people that have their eye on you um you know you are pretty like highly pursued i feel like you're pretty well sought out like you know or someone definitely is going to be seeking you out more um but you definitely are going to be in like a relationship or some sort of love connection in the month of july okay especially by the end of it okay um yeah because I feel like maybe for a lot of you guys, if you're watching this, you could be in the state of mind where you feel like, oh my gosh, is my love life ever going to come together? Maybe you've been feeling a little bit lonely or like uh, maybe if you're already with someone, you kind of want them to put in more time, energy, effort, you know. I just feel like maybe if you're watching this, you could be kind of feeling like something's lacking, but I feel like whatever that lack is, like it's it's going to be made up. Like I definitely feel like someone is going to be coming towards you and um, or, you know, if you're with someone like things are going to be escalating to the next level. So that's really positive. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pick some cards from the Numinous deck just to see what other messages we have here. Okay. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We got cancer. Okay. So maybe you could be dealing with the cancer. You'll be meeting a cancer. Um, you know, cancer energy kind of has a lot to do with, you know, emotions and deeply connecting. And, you know, this, this also clarifies the Ace of Cups, but this also has to do with like, homey vibes I, i'm seeing maybe for some of you guys you could even be moving in okay that's a message that i'm seeing you could be entering a new phase in love with this person so um yeah i feel like if you guys have already been seeing someone for a while like they're gonna ask you to move in or maybe even if like for some of you guys you're gonna meet someone new that's gonna like want to get like they're gonna get really comfortable with you and i'm seeing like you guys might even like rent a hotel room or like they might take you on like a trip or adventure and like you guys might literally like physically be living with each other like even if it's just for a couple of days like lodging in or something like that okay um it's it's pretty funny like actually the same thing happened to me like last summer like there was this guy that i met literally three weeks no not even three weeks in like maybe like two weeks in or something like that he's just like hey you want to go on a trip with me and my friends and then we got a hotel room and like we stayed with each other for a couple of days so, i mean i definitely see that could be the case for some of you guys yeah um we also got uranus revolution so yeah i just feel like this um this person's really gonna admire you for your individuality they're gonna think you're really different than anyone else and i feel like that's gonna be the same with this person this person is gonna be very different than you know people that you've been meeting um i feel like this person is and you like you know maybe you'll even bond because of like your uniqueness i feel like both of you have like these you know quirks that just you know kind of um make you like super appealing you know like basically you both are gonna like enjoy each other's like uniqueness and individuality i feel like this person's definitely gonna praise you for your individuality like you know i, I just feel like they think that you're one of a kind and you're gonna think the same way maybe you'll even find something that maybe the rest of the world like you know isn't into like ah, you know 
that doesn't have to be the case, but like, okay, let's say you're into astrology. I feel like maybe you'll be getting this person into astrology. You know how there's like people are just so like, <laughs> they have mixed opinions about astrology. They're like, oh my gosh, no, you can't be into astrology. Like, you know how some people just have disbelief. But basically, you're gonna be finding something that you're gonna make yours. Like, I feel like you're gonna be combining your individuality, combining your hobbies, or something like that, okay? Yeah, we also got Venus, love. Yeah, okay, you definitely are going to be finding love in July or again, um, entering a new phase in love in general but you know with venus energy i'm also getting taurus libra and with uranus i'm getting aquarius so some of these signs could be coming up you could be meeting someone from these signs or we already know someone from the sign but um this is going to be a really great relationship i feel like the summer um is going to be really great for you i even feel like this is going to turn into something like long term and long lasting since we got you know the ace of pentacles and the ace of cups um so yeah um, that is what we got for you, Pal4. I really hope that this reading helped. I hope that this reading resonated. You know, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. You always have free will in your reality. If this pile didn't resonate, you can, of course, go ahead and pick another pile. I also do want to let you know that I offer in-depth video readings. So if you want personal questions answered, be sure to check out the description box below where you can sign up for a video reading. So yeah, I found the reading right here. Thank you so much. Love and light.